Good students. Let us revise probability from 10th class mathematics. And in particular, the topic here is single die. So let us discuss some problems when a single die is rolled. Actually, this is this topic we have actually covered in our 9th class also. But let us revise this because some questions are being asked in half mark or one mark from this topic. Like you know, uh, this is a die. Uh, as you are staying at home due to this lockdown, I think you are involved in some of the games which takes the help of this die, right? So in everyday games, as indoor games are being played more nowadays, we are using this dice. So as we know, a die is basically a cube. We know that a cube has six faces, and these six faces are numbered from one to six. Each number comes once, and this is a cube which is numbered from 1 to 6. Now when you roll a die, we actually know that when a die is rolled, any one of the numbers from 1 to 6 can come on the top face. Either you get 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6. So there are actually 6 chances of getting a number on the top face. Right. So among these 6 numbers, we already know that uh, there are some even numbers, there are some odd numbers, there are some prime numbers and there are some composite numbers. So, to solve any problem involving this single die rolling, we have to be clear of all these things. So, what are the prime numbers on the die, what are the composite numbers on the die or what are the even numbers on the dice or what are the odd numbers on the dice. So, let us recollect once uh, all of those. We know that uh, there are three even numbers on a die which are 2, 4 and 6 and also the other 3 numbers which are 1, 3 and 5 are odd numbers. So there are 3 even numbers and there are 3 odd numbers on a die and then 2, 3 and 5 are primes on that uh, and a prime number is a number which is divisible by a number in itself. So it has exactly 2 factors and there are 3 prime numbers on a die. And among the remaining three, there are two composite numbers, which are 4 and 6. And there is one number which is left over, that is number 1, which is neither prime nor composite, because 1 has only one factor, and which is itself. So if a number has two factors, exactly two factors, it is a prime. And a number which has more than two factors is composite. Since 1 has only one factor, which is itself, it is neither prime nor composite. So to solve any problem in calculating the probabilities when a single die is rolled, you should be clear of all these things, right? So now, as I told you, one is neither prime nor composite. Now let us uh, take a problem and see. Before going to a problem, we have to be clear of one thing. When a die is rolled, probability of getting one on the top face is one by six because one comes only once. One there is one exists only once on a die and there are six possible outcomes in total. So it is 1 by 6. Similarly, the probability of 2 getting 2 on the top face is 1 by 6 and also probability of getting 6 on, it on the top face is again 1 by 6. So when you add all these probabilities, which is probability of 1 plus probability of 2 and so on up to probability of 6, you will get 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 and so on 6 times, which is 6 by 6 and we know that a fraction in which both numerator and denominator are equal to equal is equal to 1. So the pro sum of all the probabilities is 1 here because all of them are elementary events. So sum of all elementary events in a random experiment is 1. So which we can see very clearly here. Right. So take an example here which is a problem, a simple problem. You should be able to solve this very easily. So when a die is rolled once, Calculate the probability of getting the following on the top face. And there are four problems here. Uh, one is uh, num getting a number less than 5. B is getting a number between 2 and 6. And 3 is getting a number which is a prime. And the fourth one is a number greater than 6. So let us solve each problem at a time. So the first one, a number less than 5. As we know, there are 6 numbers from 1 to 6 on the die. Which, are, which numbers are? less than 5, just to pause this video and you solve this on your own, then resume this video. 
No, no. Tell me what are the numbers which are less than 5 on the dice? Yes, very good. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, these 4 numbers are less than 5. So, there are 4 favorable outcomes in this event right now. So, as you know, this is a formula which we write which is involved in the name, most of the problems in probability. Probability of an event is number of favorable outcomes divided by number of total possible outcomes. So, this comes to be 4 by 6 because there are 4 numbers which are less than 5 and there are 6 possible outcomes which are so there are 6 totally possible outcomes so we write it as 4 by 6 and as we know we have when you simplify this you will get 2 by 3 then let us go to question number B a number between 2 and 6 which numbers are between 2 and 6 right 3 4 and 5 so the numbers between 2 and 6 are 3 4 and 5 so once again you have to write the formula. Then here there are three numbers between 2 and 6. So in the numerator you will have 3 now. And in the denominator as usual you will have 6. So you can simplify this as 1 by 2. Right? Now probability of getting a prime number. Just I have discussed in the previous slide. There are three prime numbers. Which are they? Right. Nice. So 2, 3 and 5. So there are three favorable outcomes. So in the numerator you will have 3. And in the denominator you will have 6. Again, when you simplify this, you will have 1 by 2, which is 50%. Then the last one, the probability of getting a number greater than 6. As we know, on a die, the maximum number is 6. So, there are no such numbers which are bigger than 6. So, in the numerator now, you will have 0. And in the denominator, as you will have 6. So, the probability is 0. Now, here... Can you tell me, uh, when you get a probability 0, what is that event called? Exactly, it is called an impossible event. So, here, this is example for an impossible event. So, like this, you can solve any problem involving a single die, which is simplest of the problems involving a die. So, in the next classes, you will uh, discuss, or uh, let us revise, uh, problems involving two dice. So, to solve those problems, you should be very clear of the problems involving a single dice. Thank you.